Um, let's listen to the Yes You Schmidt show. Um, first of all, thank you for waiting with us during the technological difficulties and Hanukkah. You put it great. You know, technology is great up until you have technical difficulties. And you always have technical difficulties, whether you're this or that. Anyways, I hope you appreciate the background. My email is public. Ask your show, tweet to me, tweet to me, enter to me, post on cloud up to me. I'm on almost all social media platforms. Let me know. Um, let me know how the sound goes. Email me again. Last week was all about accountability. Let's see. Last week wasn't. What do you mean it was all about accountability? Last week's a complete clown show. A lot of people don't like Kevin McCarthy. A lot of people think he's not a great person. Well, sorry to break it to you. Last week was all about He just said something totally wrong. What's going on? Yes. It's very simple. They don't like him. They think he's a rhino. Or they know he's a rhino. He's not going to. How much on oh, look. They wanted him to concede. They wanted him to tell them, if you vote for me, I'll give you something. So, they went through 14 votes that he failed up until he got the speaker. What do you mean? Well, the 20 brave Republicans did not appreciate the fact that he wanted to get in there and just give that speakership without. Okay. He went through 14 like I said before. And each time more concessions and more concessions and more concessions. It wasn't enough. Up until the 15th vote. It wasn't finally enough. What do you mean? The 15th vote. He gave in. Or the concessions. One member to vacate. It. It's massive. All you need is one member to make a motion for the speaker to vacate, vacate, and then you go put it up to him. It should be five, should be one. He gave it to one, one member. Now let's be realistic. This is not gonna go anywhere. It's a way of holding you accountable, don't get me wrong, and that's what I'm trying to say. It's not going to go anywhere. I'll tell you what I mean. How many members of the House do we need to vote to vacate? Majority. The max amount of congressmen that will get to vote and to vacate is 50. Let's be real. The Democrats are not going to vote. Not in the wrong way. They want to vote to vacate. Seriously speaking, let's be real. Not gonna be a lot. It's a way of telling them, yeah, we're gonna put it up to a bunk. We're gonna waste more time and we're gonna waste more time. We're gonna get more concessions. But it's not gonna be enough. Oops. Another way to get uh, responsibility is the convincing them to get Freedom Caucus members onto the majority of the uh, uh, committees. Right. What else are they getting? They're getting a church style commission weaponization of the FBI. Right. Well, let's be real, it's not going to get anywhere after the Congress because the Senate is run by Chuck Schumer. Besides, Senate is ran by Chuck Schumer. Well, it's going to go down. Long and how could the FBI be weaponized? It's called holding the FBI account. What else did they get? They got 72 hour of grace period to read the bills. Because the omnibus bill that was passed a couple weeks ago was how many votes, how many pages, and how long did they have to read it? It was 40 something hundred pages with only 48 hours to read. 72 hours is more. And it allows time for the congressmen to read it, to have their staffers read it. Ideally, we should have a week. 72 hours is great. 
good way. There's a bunch of others which don't really make a difference. But these are the key concessions that make a big difference. Or our accountability. So great. Congress held Kevin McCarthy accountable. Any other wins? Yes. I mean, come on. Unfortunately, the media is not holding Congress accountable. There's been a time where the media is an arm of the left wing party, Democrats. We're living in a time where the media spins and tells you whatever they want you to hear. Quote, quote, great Dan Bongino. The media told you a story, not the story. They cover up. Not only do they cover up and they tell you that the Hunter Biden story, complete BS, they also tell you that stories that you don't need to know. What do you mean, yes? They said that Governor Christie Nome up for Christmas a flamethrower. Can you ask can you answer one question for me? Why do I need to know that Governor Christie Nome is a flamethrower for Christmas? What does that have to do with me? Why is it my business? If she passes a law or anti the Constitution, that's news. If she does something behind the scenes, so that's corrupt. That's news. To know that she got a flamethrower for Christmas, it's not my business. It's not my business what she does behind closed doors. I'm sorry. Grow up. Seriously, the media needs to stop feeding us stories that are not news. The media doesn't need to tell us things that we don't serve. So, I started the biggest news roundup a while ago. Is it just talk stories and verify? I hold the media account. Okay, yes, you're very nice, but we say we could trust you. You verify the news roundup. Go ahead. If you see something that's wrong, let me know, and I'll put out an apology. I do the best I can. Verify the news yourself. Hold me accountable. I'm all about held, holding people accountable. So hold me accountable. So it's a two-way street. I can just hold people accountable. They have to hold me accountable. Great. Now, let me explain something. The WS also does a bunch of other things. Hold people accountable, but that's not this, this week's podcast. <laughs> this week's podcast is something very, very simple. Talking about holding everyone accountable. Accountability starts now. Not the gangs. Great. Kevin McCarthy is being held accountable. So the public is holding everyone accountable with great. The media needs to be held accountable with the TWS news round. I hold TWS accountable by doing this week's podcast and I, the, the podcast, and I give you behind the scenes of what's going on at the TWS, which is February 6, 2023, will be our fifth anniversary. Um, quick update about TWS before we continue about accountability. No, no, no connection to, t- uh, to accountability. Um, however, TWS stands for Team Squatter, Team Squatter is the Globalist. We are looking to change our name. Our name sounds completely globalist. I started TWS for freedom of speech, freedom of constitution, everything. Constitution should apply to the whole world. Constitution of the United States Constitution, we ain't gotta admit that. The entire world should be free, we should have guns, everything. But then comes along the World Economic Forum, and the World Economic Forum is completely globalist in the antithesis of what TW stands for. So, I hope for our fifth birthday, we can come up with a name that truly represents Team World Supporter and what our mission here is. I have a name that I'm leaning towards. Tag me, tell me, let me know. Anyways, so, in which order does this podcast to hold themselves like How else can we have accountability? Well, we yeah, else we can have accountability. We can have everyone call our congressmen, our senators, and make them and remind them day in, day out, day in, day out, they swore to the Let's make it happen. 
hold everyone accountable. And let's do this. Let's take back America and save it. Thank you very much for listening to this week's podcast.